Hello guys and welcome to the first tutorial here on my channel. First I wanna say sorry to you that it took me so long to do this tutorial. But yeah, finally now um I'll do it and in this tutorial I will show you how to create depth of field in Counter Strike and for this we are also using um a green screen so if you're also interested in how to green screen a weapon in Counter Strike then this uh tutorial will be helpful for you as well. So yeah, let's get started. Um I will need um a few programs for this. Um at first you will need Counter Strike Global Offensive, obviously. Um then you will also need HLIE. This is um it's kind of a plugin for Counter Strike which will um allow us to 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 um to get an extended access to the commands in counter strike then we will also use virtual dub um for the for the conversion um of the images we will export later and in the last step we are going to use adobe after effects but first we have to launch HLAE, then you want to go to Tools, Developer, Custom Loader, and when you launch HLAE for the very first time, um, all the fields here are um, are empty. And for the hook DLL, you want to go to uh, click on Browse and go to your HLAE folder. Um and select the AFX hook source dot DLL. For the program path you have to um go to your Steam folder and go to Counter Strike Global Offensive and just select csgo.x um, for the command line you have to type in multiple commands um, which will allow us to um, to to actually um, to to use all the commands we're going to use um, because for example the insecure um, command will launch the the game um, or in a mode that you can't get banned for using external um, software because this um, is seen as a hack but it isn't a hack so you have to type in insecure but now you can't join any uh, online service you can just replay demos and this is what we're going to do and this is uh, also what we want to do only with this so it's okay and I will um, copy you this and provide you all the commands for the command line in the video description. So if you did all the steps here, click on OK and CSGO will be launched. So now, um, what is also important to say that um, for this tutorial I'm going to use a movie config um, and this movie config is basically it's it's just a text file or a config file um, which is pretty much the same as a text file but it's uh, it has the uh, the file um, the type CFG so if we open this movie config we see uh, tons of commands which are actually in-game commands for Counter-Strike Global Offensive and as soon as you load up your config in Counter-Strike um, all these commands will also um, be typed in automatically so we don't need to type in all these commands manually because of our um, console uh, of, of our config sorry and we also have some aliases that are some um, specified commands which allow us to um, to enable further commands um, at one 
one click or uh, yeah at one time so for example if we type in dof on all these commands will load up automatically and the same for smooth on and set reset and everything and I will also give you a download link to this movie config um, with a detailed description for it in a separate text file so you can understand everything and yeah but for now let's let's use it so first we have to type in exec for execute and then the name of our config in my case it's movie so type in exec movie so yeah now we press shift and F2 to go to the demo playback and load a demo select any demo you want um yeah let's say um yeah let's just take this one so yeah let's say yeah let's go to 8300 and now we have to record this scene three times the first time we want to record um, only the word so only the map and um, the other people you can see but um, we want to be uh, we, we, we want to uh, we want the, the view model um, to be invisible and we do this by typing in clear on with my config this only works with my config because this will load up um, some if uh, some commands and now if you hit enter you can see everything is cleaned up the view model is gone and yeah um, I also highly recommend you to record the scenes the way I do because I don't use fraps or dictionary or whatever I use counter-strike um, and if you use this method um, counter-strike will um, yeah it, it will export an image for each frame of your gameplay scene um, with a frame rate you will type in now so you have to type in the command host underscore frame rate this is um, set to zero by default and this means you um, this this is disabled so you can uh, change the speed with a demo playback but if we now type in for example 100 um, the demo playback doesn't work anymore and um, the gameplay is replayed in a in a frame rate of 100 fps so and in most cases I record in 300 um, fps but um, yeah for this tour I will also record in 100 because it's it's way faster than in 300 so type this in or with my config you can also hit the the arrow keys for example hit the up arrow key and now open your config it says now capturing at 100 fps if we hit the down arrow key it's 300 fps left is 500 and right is 1000 yeah but as I said for now we're going to use 100 so hit the up arrow key let's double check it yeah now capturing at 100 FPS um, always the command or the, the text at the bottom is that what we are capturing at at the moment so yeah and I have a few um, further commands which actually um, make it more easy for me to edit or to, to record the scenes for example we have the bind insert and the home key um, when we hit the insert key our demo will be paused and we can resume our video or our demo by hitting the home button um, on the German keyboard layout it's pause one and um, if we want to record a scene then in the frame rate we, we just uh, entered you have to hit F1 because all these commands um, 
say that you will enter uh, that you will record in um, in the FPS you entered for the host frame rate so basically it's just the command uh, start a and um, but <coughs> these commands will allow us to to record multiple um, multiple video gameplay scenes in one session because if we already have um, a file named A it will record it in B and then in C and so on okay and if we're done with our recording we have to um, hit F2 and the record will stop so let's do this um, now remember if you hit the home button the video will resume and then instantly you have to um, hit the F1 button so I'm going to do this now and yeah now it will record all this stuff which is going on right now in 100 FPS okay now we have a sweet jump over here okay I think it's enough and so we can hit F2 it will stop now and load uh, lo load the process and uh, files now you can now hit the insert key to stop the record or you can just um, toggle the demo playback by hitting F2 and shift okay let's go back to 8300 yeah let's say here and now for the second step we are going to type in fog on no sorry doff on and the fog on the doff on sorry <laughs> command will load up these settings so um, we're going to use a few fog commands to create fog which will later be used as our depth of field so press enter and everything which appears white now will be blurred out as uh, depth of field later so now we can double check if our frame rate is still set to 100 no capturing ok and as before hit home and then F1 la 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 so and when this record is finished you have to press F2 again but then we want to hit insert instantly after that and I'll tell you in a second why we are going to do this so F2 and as soon as it resumes hit insert so now stay at this tick for a moment open your demo playback and remember this tick so it's around 8600 and the way and uh, the, the reason why we are um, have to remember this is because of our next recording because we now we are recording um, the green screen and we will not see anything from the world and the the only thing uh, we can orientate on is this is uh, the sky but often if for example if you are in the tunnels um, you will have no sky obviously and then you uh, have to know the tick where uh, where you are and where your record um, has to end um, and for this reason I also always when I record the green screen um, I open the the demo playback to see at which tick I am and I, I drag it in the left upper corner um, and we can just mask out it later in After Effects so but first we also have to close this close it but because um, 
or shortcuts won't work when this is uh, opened so now again hit home and F1 now we can oh sorry oh shit 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 no 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 go back um yeah okay and now type in green on this will load up our green screen settings and now we can <laughs> we could hit um home and f1 okay open your your demo playback to see at which tick we are so we said until uh, 8600 <sighs> okay yeah, around here close it and press F2 okay stop it and we are done for this part click on stop you can close it and now we want to switch over to virtual dub um, go to your counter strike folder in steam CSGO and here you have a lot of TGA files and these are um, the files we just exported with the F1 and F2 command with a recording and this is our recorded gameplay. So virtual dub works that you have to drag and drop the very first image of one image series and um, an image series is in this case it's the A series with an A in the beginning, a B series and uh, a C or D series. Um, so now we have to take the, the, fr um, the frame of the first image chain and yeah drag it into virtual dub and virtual dub because it is so v smart will load up all other images automatically so now we have to go to video frame rate and um, it is set to default by um, set set to no change by default sorry and this means it would um, export in 10 FPS but remember we recorded in 100 FPS so click on change frame rate 2 and type in the frame rate you um, you recorded the video in so in our case it's 100 but can also be 300 500 uh, or even th uh, 2000 doesn't really matter you always but this is um, the reason why you always have to keep in mind in which host frame rate you recorded your gameplay. So now click OK, go to File, Save as RV or press F7 and now you can go to your file, where uh, to the folder where you want this um, this video to be saved in. Let's call it just 2 tutorial and when you rename the file files it's um, important to to say which uh, what, what is going on in the video so for this we are going to name it dust2 and now because this is our clear layer we, ta uh, we, we call it clear so wait for it to process and after this we have to go to the B0000 file or we can also just search for it and then when we need the C we just um, change it to C and have the C file and okay but for now let's go to B drag this in check frame rate it is already changed save as RV and call it test 2 dof for depth of field and yeah in the next step 
we actually um, would have to take the the C file, but <coughs> in this case, because <coughs> sorry, because mm, because I accidentally um, <laughs> did something wrong and uh, I recorded the I or I started to record the the DAW file twice. We have to take the D file. So it's right here. Okay. Wait for the the DOF layer to be finished. And then drag this in. File save as AVI dust to green. Okay, so now to the more important or more interesting step, I guess. Because now we're going to edit everything together in After Effects. So first go to your folder where you just have saved your files. You can close Virtual Dub for now or and you can even delete all these um, files. Um, I already have um, a batch file for deleting all TGA files in this um, folder. For example, if we hit um, TGA remove A, it will only um, remove all the A files. Now it starts here for the B files, but the the B C and D files are th still there and I did this until the H file because um, our movie config is also until the H file or we can just uh, hit the TGA remover and this will um, delete all TGA files and since we have we don't have any um, TGA files from the game um, you will not delete anything um, important, so it is safe. You can do this. I can also um, provide you a download link to all these um, batch files in the video description. So yeah, we now for After Effects, you select all the all your videos, drag it in, and let's take the clear um, the clear video file and drag and drop it onto this composition icon. Now um, a composition is created with exactly the same uh, properties as the clip. So it has 100 FPS and 1080p um, and it is three, 3 minutes and 87 frames long and the composition has exactly the same um, settings. So yeah the second step of layer now um, if we make this layer invisible you can see that this isn't at the right point so <coughs> we'll make it visible press T for opacity and lower it to 50% now we can drag it through the timeline until it fits Yeah. This should be good. There might be um, a little, a few little f mistakes at some corners, for example here, but um, it's not that bad. So, yeah. So in the next step, we want to pre-compose the DOF layer. For this, you can um, hit Control Shift C, or you just right-click on the layer and click on pre-compose say move all edge attributes into the new composition and click OK we can also call this DOF layer go into this composition and now we are going to create the actual depth of field map so for this we want to load up the UN saturation effect 
and now in the channel control you want to go to each color channel and bring down the lightness of each channel but only of the color channels and don't bring down the master lightness so go back to the master and in the master settings you won't change anything so now um, it's it's quite gray and we don't want this that gray we want more contrast um, we want it we want it to be uh, um, almost only black and white and we do this by applying a levels effect and increase the input black by dragging this um, little arrow to the middle of the of this thing and also for the input white and here we go everything which is white will be blurred out later um, it's not that bad that there are some little um, a little few white things here at the wall and stuff um, if you're too lazy to do this um, no, 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 not yet. Um, now we want to add a first a fast blur to blur it out a bit and just give it a very small number, for example, three or, or five maybe. And make sure you hit the repeat edge pixels because if we now go to the edges, you will have um, this little um, black stripe and when we hit repeat, this stripe will disappear. So, but now if um, you're too lazy to do this all uh, for for every layer, always select um, all color channels, uh, adjust the la uh, the levels and the fast blur and stuff. Um, you can just load up for uh, you can just search for the depth of field settings. It's um, it's a preset. Um, created by me and so when you apply it to the layer all the settings will load up automatically so yeah it's very cool now um, it depends on the map if this um, settings work well but you can also still adjust them a bit for example increase the black input or decrease the, the blurriness for example to three and okay but for now we are done with the off layer and we're going to back in our main composition to make it more clear let's call it main actually and this is our doff layer okay so disable the doff layer and drag it to the bottom because you don't need it to be invisible uh, to be you don't need it to be visible so and now drag in the green screen and to sync the green screen there are two different ways I always use um, so the the first way is normally you shoot in your video okay and then um, in the in the clear layer it will also appear a muzzle flash so this these little fires um, which come out of the gun when you uh, shoot, shoot, and you can just drag the the view model when it ch uh, changed to the shoot um, until the the model f uh, mother flash appears. Um, or because the green screen doesn't work for the sky, you can also orientate on the sky where you are. So for the for for now, also lower the opacity of the green screen layer and drag it through the timeline until um, until it fits our environment and this should be right here increase the opacity back to 100 and yeah First, we want to get rid of this demo playback. For this, we are 
we will draw a mask around the top of um of the video because this will also make the sky invisible press mm on your keyboard this will bring bring you to the mask settings and first you have to set the um the mask mode from add to subtract so everything within the map uh the mask will um will not be um added to the to the video but subtracted and in the second step you want to feather it out a bit about 50 pixels and now we're going to search up for the key light effect drag it onto your green screen layer um, take this little color pick thing and select the green so yeah now we have our composite or composed um, layer and we can also for example if you want to to apply anything in the world for example you want this uh, this this white thing here you don't have to draw a mask around the weapon to, um, to make the the weapon be in front of this but um, you can you can easily drag it under your green screen layer so this make it very easy to do stuff with cool effects within your actual game uh, gameplay uh, scene so the last step is we want to create our actual depth of field so we can now create a new adjustment layer and search for the camera lens blur this is the effect we will use for this and first you want to notice that we have again these black stripes so hit repeat edge pixels and now we can play around with all these parameters and first I always set the blur radius to about 10 or 12 maybe and change the the shape to decagon but you can play around with all these settings and just look what um, fits your scene the best and now for the blur map, blur map sorry you have to select your DOF layer so tada everything which is white here appears blurred out in this scene yeah and this is how I create my depth of field that's actually it if you now want to um, add any motion trackings or something like this you just um, have to uh, track your, your clear layer and um, yeah always keep in mind when you apply anything to the world um, then you have to drag it under the green screen view model and yeah I hope you find you found this tutorial helpful you enjoyed it a little bit and um, as I already told you I will provide you all in uh, all important information also in the video description um, yeah if you also want to stay up to date regarding my upcoming works make sure to check out my Facebook or Twitter page um, yeah there you also have the the best connection to me if you have any questions or something like this we can talk there and yeah okay I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more stuff in the future I'm sure um, I could do uh, further tutorials if some are requested so yeah make sure to leave a comment if you want to see any tutorials in the future from me and yeah see you later